Hey there, welcome to Central Valley Today. I am Emily Irwin. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on the show today, the Valley Animal Center joins us on this Monday to get charms into a loving home and a blast from the past. The Fresno Historical Society is here with this month's look back at Fresno County history. And we have some fresh spring recipes for you to try. We speak to Chef Cara DeFalco later on in the show. But first, we're getting you ready with some drinks. The madness continues. The Aztecs take on the Huskies tonight in the NC2A Basketball Championship. And Riley's Brew Pub is the place to catch the game. So joining us now is Dan Riley, president of Riley's Brewing Company. And you've got the perfect game day feast here today. <laughs> trying to get everything uh, you want. I, maybe I can, maybe that'll be the championship today. I'll eat all this food. <laughs> What'd you bring with you today? Okay, so we figured we'd go back a little bit. Everybody's been so good for Lent. They've yeah. given up everything that's been fattening or sweet, right? Yes. So let's get you back to the real world. <laughs> So All we right. decided to dive into here, and we brought our chicken meatball sandwich. Oh, that so, looks good. Oh, it's all spicied up and all the good stuff. We paired it all over there with the heart of the valley. Just everything you could ever ask for. Then, diving in next, we went ahead and going over the top. So we've got our uh, truck hoagie, our greasy truck hoagie, I should say. So now we got fried chicken, we've got bacon, we've got onion rings, a little bit of habanero oh sauce over God. the top, <laughs> all that good stuff. We're diving that it's in. It's all sancha. fried. I love it. It is absolutely. Then of course, fish and chips because it's been one of our best sellers for obvious reasons. Yeah. And it's been good. So we're good on that. And that's still made with our Riley's Pale Ale our cougar, and then we brought a bacon western cheeseburger. So everything you get asked for, again, it's got the bacon, it's got the onion rings, it's got big old patty, and for that one we gave it a side salad to balance oh, itself. Oh yeah. Case so you feel a little too guilty. To balance it out. You yeah, know, it, exactly. It, March is over, so that's about the time everybody gives up on their uh, New Year's resolutions. <laughs> that's exactly But if it. you're still going strong, you can have the side salad. Alright, so there's a big game tonight. There is. Uh, you doing anything special? Uh, you know what? We're just going to open the doors up and just come on in. We yeah. just decided. When yeah. you're Riley's Brew Pub and mm -hmm. you've got beer and food, that's really all people want. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get back. It's and, almost like a fat Monday. Yeah. I know. And the game. <laughs> all right. So talk to me about the fish and chips because that, um, you know, you, you do that on Fridays we do, during we do, Lent. We do that. Is it, what's special about it? Well, uh, of course, we always get the fresh cod and everything I was able to do, but in this particular, the batter, yeah, grab a piece. Yeah, I'm going to grab, grab a piece. Oh, and then, uh, some uh, little fishy. <laughs> All right. We go ahead and we use our Cougar Pale Ale. Uh, oh! That's, it's all beer battered. Yeah, when we fry up, we make everything that we do ourselves. So definitely here is everything fried up with all of our own beers. Oh, yeah, that's good. It is, yeah. Jeff's got a little spicy, a little bit of thin, make it crispy. Yeah. All right, so a little bit different for a pub is you mm -hmm. guys do brunch. We did. We open at 10 o'clock. All right. So we're just going to carry that on now. So every Sunday at 10 a.m., we're just going to open it up, come on in. We've got the full menu, a few other extras when we're feeling a little creative, mm. but have fun. Any other events yeah. that you guys have going on where we can grab a beer, grab a bite to eat? How, how do you make Riley's the place to be? Because I know well, that it's popular. Every day. <laughs> I mean, every day is an event day. There's, it's <laughs> someone's day. birthday. It's someone's anniversary. It's just some, you're in a good mood. Right. So every day, every day. Where oh, is it exactly? Temperance and Alluvial. Right, right, right. So yep. a good location for out uh, out that way. Sure, there, right off freeway. People are building things. When I was growing up, there was literally nothing out there. We could have <laughs> oh. used you then. All right, yeah. for my fish and chips, yep. what would you pour me to, well, to go with my fish and chips? Well, for here, I'm going to go for the dessert. So oh. we're bringing our hard root beer in here for you. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that you brought this. Oh yeah. All right, so this is your hard root this beer. You guys make beer. this in-house. We do, we make everything in-house. How do you make this? Little What's in it? Well, classify, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, a little bit of foamy there. Is but anyway, so we go ahead, we make it all from scratch. So all the sugars, brown sugars, molasses, we even make some of our own vanilla extract, all the proof. We make everything from scratch, made with love of you. Oh say. my God, that's so good. It is good, yeah. It definitely tastes it like is. a hard well, here root we beer. Go. Check. Here. Cheers, my Cheers. friend. Cheers, yeah, so this there's your dessert. This is, this is a great dessert. You could do a little, um, little ice cream float with this. This definitely tastes like a hard uh, root beer for sure. It is, yeah. And then we also, uh, for that, and uh -huh. it's with ice cream, you gotta get the French vanilla, because we use Madagascar vanilla beans, so you gotta get the ones with You're making your own ice cream? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I'm just saying, <laughs> well, I got enough I, problems. I yeah. mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe, <laughs> maybe one day uh, you could have your own ice cream. Anything for Easter going on? Well, uh, that's where we're going to do the brunch. And, you know, we talked to a lot of people, kind of have what came with the menu. Uh -huh. And we're going to decide, do we want something special, unique? And everybody just wanted to get back to normality. So right. 
because the, the patrons come in and we listen, we decided, okay, this is the first, this is the, the biggest tickets that everybody wants, and then everything else is on the menu. So we just did what the people are asking for. All right. Find out what your customer wants, right? There you go. Well, I um, I want all the fried stuff. That's yeah. what I want <laughs> with, my, with my root beer. This is delicious. We'll have all the information how you can find Riley's and all the events that are happening. Uh, maybe I'll see you tonight uh, for the championship game. Absolutely. Cheers, Cheers my friend. again. Thank you so much. Everybody else, stay right there because coming up here in Central Valley today, we take a little trip back in time, see how we used to celebrate the changing of the the seasons with uh, the Fresno County Historical Society. That's next.